shame. Shit. Well, <laughs> I now resign that, from As Always is Entertainment. That, is that a segue? It might be a segue. We'll get back to Assassin's Creed. Um, because, fuck, that's triggered me. You've actually triggered me again. <laughs> We've talked about. I, I want to talk to you guys about this. I've, I've because the Stick of Time podcast, uh, my solo podcast, is back, and I talked about it a bit there. Uh, but uh, kind of funny, kind of funny games. The company, the YouTube channel, the people that inspired the idea for as always and the way to do a Patreon system and content that way and great stuff. Colin Moriarty, great, hilarious, intelligent, uh, very refreshing guy in the gaming community, uh, made a tweet, a joke that said, ah, a piece, some peace and quiet, hashtag a day without a woman. Hilarious. Yeah, that's quite just a, that is funny. humorous. You know, it's just like on, on International Women's Day. And it's like, people are saying, uh, you shouldn't have done it on International Women's Day. And he says, well, it wouldn't have been funny if it wasn't. Like, that's why I did it. Yeah, that's why it's As funny. Ob- obviously it's just like um it's just what's this it's not even that it's not even like it's just a tweet it's It's, just a it's not even like that i don't know like i can't even imagine how that could offend anybody i feel i feel people just thought that they should be offended so that's what people do that's how it works that's what it is people are like oh i should be offended by this so i'm going to act like i am but really it doesn't affect me at all i'm just going to take precautions in case anyone else is offended it's so fucking stupid yeah so he tweeted that then there's some controversy some backlash and greg miller his supposed best friend they live together as roommate and co-founder of the company co-worker as well as others Disagree with him, and that's fine. They can disagree with him, but it was the. And this is the biggest part about this tweet. The issue here isn't even the tweet; it's the fact that he's now being attacked and character assassinated by media outlets and by people yeah. for oh, a tweet. Fucking damn it! The problem Just one the tweet. one the harmless problem tweet. The the problem isn't the tweet. The problem, the discussion shouldn't be about the tweet or the reaction to the tweet. The problem should purely be about the character assassination of Colin Moriarty, who just tweeted a joke that a you might joke. dislike. You might not think it's funny. That's fine. You don't have to find it funny. But to target someone, to go after him, to purposely try to ruin his life, media outlets called him racist. Racist? Just, How? If it was, it's not oh it's not my. women apparently women are a race but they, they have then <laughs> changed the titles like people out there have done this because they're not trying to tell the truth they're trying to attack someone they're trying to get clicks on articles they're trying to character assassinate someone for the sake of it because they'll know they'll get clicks because of it they know they're not real journalists they know their media outlet is worthless and these people aren't actually offended by the tweet. They're just a bunch of sheep. They're a flock of fucking sheep. They're a herd of zombies that just go to person to person because they need and have to be offended by something just so they can ruin a person's life because they're fucking horrible cunts. I think it's they're ridiculous hor- that the rest of the company disagreed with him and didn't stick with him. In a way, yeah, like, stupid. what do they agree like, with the news outlets, or are they just trying to save their own company at this point? Like, I wouldn't. No, they don't. I, they haven't. The problem I have with this is, they haven't. They, I don't. I definitely don't think they agree with the news outlets. All Greg said was he disagrees with the tweet, and you can disagree with the tweet. That's fine. You're but like I said, the problem, the problem, the problem. Yeah, I, I, I don't get it either. I don't get it. But if you You're don't, if you don't think a joke, not everyone thinks a joke's funny. Who cares? The joke's not for everybody. Um. The problem isn't the joke, and the, it shouldn't be about the tweet, whether it's okay or not. The problem is he is getting character assassinated. A mob are getting angry with him about something that isn't a big deal, whether you agree or not, with the tweet. Hmm. And they're not doing anything to defend him from that character assassination. They didn't defend him, and they didn't talk shit about him either. They just did nothing. And... He's still friends with them, supposedly. He still talks to them. He's going to be on a podcast, like a final podcast, like in a week or so, but he's in LA. Um, he was just on the Ruben Report yesterday live, which I watched. It's a great mm, listen. I saw, I saw uh, Dave Rubin's an amazing dude in politics, and they talked all about this. And it was very interesting. Colin said, 
a lot of interesting stuff about this and you know they talked about it. it's not even about the tweet it's about um you know this character assassination and the, this mob culture that's out there trying to kill free speech and that just goes around being offended and Colin said in his own words, he's like, I truly don't believe that anyone out there at all was offended by the joke. I don't believe it. People just want to be offended by it. They yeah. think they should be. They yeah. think, yeah, they think that it's right to be offended because it, there's a possibility of offense with it. And, and they, so they're like, they I'm doing offense. the right thing by being offended, even though I'm not offended. They think they're offended. They're just not. They, they act in a way they think is correct as a correct response to it being the way that they are and the community that they're in. Whereas they're not actually offended. Like they don't go, they don't get upset over the tweet. They just feel they have to act in a way that's correct. Funny. It was funny. It was such a funny tweet. It was, it was clever and it was well done. It was so simple. It was like a dad joke. That's what it was. Yeah. It's a fucking dad joke. It's like, it's, it's just kind of like, Oh dad. You would say that, you it's dickhead. Classic, like, but it's like, funny because it's that. It's funny because it's classic. Dad. It's classic, you know, just being that way about women. Like, that's a classic thing. Like, oh, female drivers. Like, you know, no one actually thinks women can't yeah, it's, drive. It's, that's not a thing. It's, it's just it's a, just it's what, just a joke. thing. Yeah, exactly. And it's it's like, like every sitcom ever about the overbearing wife or whatever. Like, fucking everybody loves Raymond. Um, it's King a stereotype. Of Queens. That's like, what it is. It's just it's just a cl- like it's but it's not. Yeah, it's just, it's not real. It's just for a laugh. He doesn't actually. He's not sexist. It's ridiculous. Oh, and that's he's why definitely not racist. Problem, yeah, he's <laughs> definitely not Jesus racist. But that's what that's what these crazy people are doing. Now, the best part about it, and this is what Colin has said, that there's lots have been going on with the company that's made him resign, which was, you know, they're a video game company and, and an entertainment company, and he's been into politics and he wants to get back into politics. That's what he always wanted to do. And he's so intelligent with politics. Um, and that's why he's been on Dave Rubin and things like that. And now he's been going on all these other things and he's going to be on more. And the fact that these people out there in this political internet landscape who have reached out to him and supported him, I has actually warmed my fucking heart more than anything, especially how much I look up to fucking Joe Rogan, who has the top three biggest podcasts of all time ever. You know, he gets like 10 million views every podcast he does. And he went and talked about Colin Moriarty, someone just in our little video game world. And he went out and defended Colin and he's going to have Colin on his podcast at some point too. Now, so, like, that's incredible. Then it was Joe and him and Jim Norton was on the podcast at the time, and they were talking about it. And they, they called out the guy calling him racist, and Joe just said, fuck you to that guy that called him racist. Fuck you, man. He called out the journalist and everything and said um, – and he's the one that brought up. It's like, it's like every fucking sitcom ever. It's funny. It's um, – it is it is funny. And you not obviously not everyone finds it funny, but, like, you can't you – can't, do that to people it's not okay to do that to people mm. you know what i mean i don't know what you yeah. guys think of that but like i agree yeah. i mean you know obviously he offended the he woman race with that um tweet of <laughs> course but uh it's fucking... jesus christ and all what 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 it is is when these people get mad about it, it's virtue signaling they think they should be offended so they get offended to virtue signal to look good to other people it's yeah, a they're selfish... like, oh my god, look how disgusting this was. I'm offended by this. Are you offended by this? Okay, good. It's like one it's one like, person Jesus. gets offended, so they all just join the bandwagon and all get offended by it. Because they want to pander. They're like, oh, we need to make sure we pander to the victims of this, if there are any. You know? Oh, fucking people. And I, and I fucking love and respect Colin, and I'm going to support him. Because I'm a big fan of Kind of Funny, or was a huge fan of Kind of Funny. I watched all their shit. Um, that's why I came to you, James, with the idea of the, as always stuff. Cause I'm like, I think mm, yeah, they have a great yeah. model and we can do it. And I still believe they have a great model. And I mean, I, I hope those guys do well and kind of funny. I'll, I'll probably watch here and there, but honestly, Colin was my favorite person to listen to. He's the only refreshing person on there, you know, because these people, um, uh, you know, the gaming world is full of just liberals and stuff. And I mean, I'm more or less liberal as well with my ideas. I'm not very far left and I have some conservative ideas on a lot of things as well. I would consider myself kind of in the middle there, libertarian person, but 
you know, it's just nice to see someone that's, I like hearing people argue and challenge each other respectfully. And that's what kind of funny was. It was Colin and these, and different guys who all have different views and they discuss things. It was just interesting to hear how different people think about things respectfully. It's refreshing in the gaming world where everyone just fucking agrees and sucks each other's dick about this is racist, this is sexist. Look, we talked about last fucking Kill Connor Club with Horizon Zero Dawn was called racist. The left eating itself. That was hilarious. This is what they do. This is what they fucking do. These virtue signaling fucking zombies. They're a cancer to the world. And people are turning against them. They're getting less and less and less every single day. Oh, God. Mm. Why do we have to fucking live in a world of the liberals and the alt-right socialism the way forward? No, fuck off. Liberalism is the right way to do. The problem is the left isn't liberal anymore. The left are fucking socialist, communist, Marxist fucks who don't want free speech. They want control. They're just as bad as the alt-right. They're not liberal. The left is not liberal anymore. Everyone getting freedom of speech, everyone being able to be okay and joke, that's liberalism. Yeah, yeah. The left isn't liberal. These people that are attacking him, these social justice warriors aren't liberals. They're fucking socialist, Marxist, communist fucks that want to control the way we talk. That's what they are. They're not liberal. Being liberal is fucking good, but the left isn't liberal anymore. I'm liberal. I want freedom for all people. I, I want equality for everybody. Attacking people and controlling the way we talk isn't liberal. It's yeah, all no. left. Yeah. 